So I'm demoing out the old insulation from this area of the house that we're redoing. Uh, this house was built in 1955 and it gave me a great opportunity to talk about uh, nasty old insulation. Somebody asked me the other day what, what it means if it's black like this. Is that mold? Is it mildew? Um, no, it's not. It's actually just dirt. The uh, houses like this, you can see it had no poly or any kind of vapor barrier over the top of it. It was craft faced, which helps a little bit with uh, air penetration, but not really. It doesn't. It's not a very good vapor barrier most of the time, especially in this older stuff. Um, but what happens is as dirty air moves in and out of the house, you know, all air is carrying a little bit of dirt. Uh, this acts like a filter and just traps the dirt and dust as it moves back and forth through the uh, through the house, through the uh, exterior walls, especially in the winter um, when air is changing temperature as it goes through and it's condensing and expanding certain times a year. Um, it, it, you're dropping off a lot of dirt into that old installation. So it's nasty stuff, but it's not mold or mildew or anything really harmful. It's just dirt. Now sometimes obviously it can be mold. Thankfully in this house, um, I haven't found any examples to show you, um, but mold has a very distinct smell. Uh, so you'll kind of know it when you see it. And obviously the, a lot of times the, the insulation will be compressed and damp. Um, and it will just have kind of a rotten smell to it. This is what we replace it with. We use, uh, in these walls anyway, we're using a craft face uh, fiberglass insulation and all new poly, six mil poly over the top for va vapor barrier. So um, with very few penetrations, the insulation shouldn't get dirty because there shouldn't be air moving back and forth as much uh, as it did in the past uh, and hopefully not at all.